Welcome to Farming on the Rocks. My name is Marie, if you're new here. And this is my container garden where I grow close to 100% of the vegetable that my family consume. I'll be giving you a tour of the vegetable garden today. Usually towards the end of the month, I do a garden tour just to show you what we're up to, what's growing, what's not, what's new. I won't be going into details as to how i do what those videos are provided for you on the channel in playlist for your convenience so you're able to see exactly how we grow the food that we have growing at farming on the rocks today is the 29th of august i believe we're nearing the end of august and ends the garden tour is due and i know you like to know all of what is happening i do do daily videos but it's on specific things and as i said those videos are categorized in different playlists for your convenience if it is that you're you want to see how i do a particular thing in the garden all right so let's just i'm going to start at the entrance this is where we started the garden with just that tie on the top i'm starting here and then we work our way up to the back of the garden all right so let's do this let's start right here okay so here is the entrance of the garden and the sun is already starting to come up in the east so i'm going to be um angling the camera down so it doesn't shine in your faces all right so this right here this is a machine these both of these are machine containers i have tomatillos growing in here and these are tomato plants that i got from the one i had growing it just reseeded itself and i transplanted them here so i'm going to make a trellis for that i have a pineapple growing right there these are peanuts that i recently planted and guys i'm going to go through as quick as i can so i don't have you watching a three hour video on the right set back so there are the two containers on the right i have this tire and i have eggplants growing in there we just harvested callaloo from here for dinner yesterday and coming down here i have in this container i planted beans something killed them so i'm going to replant some i have a dying tomato plant coming here well it came it's on its way out we got so many little cherry tomatoes from it okay back here i have a voluntary not voluntary volunteer um tomato there is one tomato on it right here it's a slicing tomato look at the squash bug eggs on this floor but the plant has disease it's going out not sure why but that's what is happening here i have black cocoa growing in here these are some bell pepper seedlings that i need to transplant and i transplanted some from those cups behind the black cocoa i have some peanuts growing in that container right there and these are my covers for when it's too hot for seedlings i just have, in, have them hanging out right there continuing down this is my colored greens that has been producing for almost a year now they're almost like trees can you see those they're almost like trees this is sunburn on this leaf but that's doing awesome and next to it i have some extra corns that i took from a container that was overcrowded and look guys there there is ash on them that whitey whitey thing you're seeing it is starting to put on ears these are the volunteers and last well second to last batch i'm gonna show you I have basils growing in the container as well. Pest control and other purposes. Stepping back, I have a huge um, callaloo there that we harvested from yesterday as well. And add for dinner. And in here, this is a volunteer watermelon. And I'm seeing a little baby one here. I'm hoping it will hold. I pollinated that one myself plant is looking healthy and nice so i'm hoping we get at least one watermelon from this volunteer in my tire right here and i have 
that's a carrot coming well two carrots also in there this is a aki plant i think my husband is going to gift it to someone but he's having it establish itself well first all right stepping back to my stand here that my husband made for me we have a lovely um chocolate habanero pepper this is hot pepper i call it hot i call it chocolate scotch bonnet but it is not it is, the plant is lovely and then back here i have strawberries all the way down all the way down that i propagated myself see the sunlight guys these are the two plants that i got and all the others i got from that one it seems like there is something eating this one oh yes there is something eating it i'm coming back to see what's happening there at the front in these containers these are pinata blend peppers and these are bell peppers a cabbage more bell peppers that has aphids i need to look at this come back at and check this out another cabbage bell peppers bell peppers and last on this stand is this lovely eggplant i just harvested some beautiful eggplants from this one it's looking so so majestic it's a huge plant these little branches are beautiful and that's one eggplant still left on it all right so down here guys i have my tub and in there all of these are um okra plants one okra fell off this big plant right here see i have one there to harvest it burst open and the seeds just spread in the tub and now they're starting to produce guys look at this look at blossoms coming on and so many plants in here and down here i have kidney beans and i saw some blooms on there somewhere yeah they're starting to blossom so that's awesome back here i have scallions in here i have lettuce that we have been harvesting by the leaves right there in that one and in a third one around here there's a look these are okra blossoms awesome in the third one i have a lovely bunch of thyme growing here are also some strawberries that i got from the same two plants i have a lovely poblano pepper here it is absolutely loaded with some nice sized fruits guys i have been telling you that this is hot because the package that i purchased it says hot guys these are so sweet they are even sweeter than the bell peppers these are yummy and they ripen to red i thought they were dark green stink bugs go they ripen to red and they're so sweet guys that was such a pleasant surprise back here i have sweet yam this is sweet yam and it is just going crazy and it is growing out of that five gallon bucket these are two yellow yams volunteers growing out of these two containers so pleased to see that back here guys let me try and avoid the sun this is my banana plant huge plant now guys and look at its sucker beautiful and i'm only seeing one sucker in this container let me let me look yes one sucker so, so far and it is looking so so good i'm pleased with that this is my cantaloupe vine that i'm going to take out there is one on it but the bugs won't allow it to develop this cantaloupe is super sweet the squash bugs the squash bugs are around here killing it i'm going to use the neem oil now that the plant is as i'm so scared of using the oil on there when the plant is producing but now that it is going out i'm gonna kill off the, the squash bugs with the neem oil and then replant this is a papaya tree right here it's not looking so bad i'm going to 
mulch it with some kitchen scraps and see if I can boost it up. This is a bell pepper. There's one on it. Marigold, Hungarian wax peppers. Back here needs some sorting out. Alright, let's move back out front and then in again. Okay, so right here I have some coins. I would love to show you the height on it, but as I said, guys, the sun, I'm facing the the sun, so it's a challenge. Look at those ears. The coins, they're doing so fantastic. And between the two corn container, I have this container with, um, what are these guys? Carrots. And I just fertilize these with some manure, wrap back manure, and they're looking fantastic. I'm looking for awesome results from that. This is the other corn. These, the ears on these are starting to turn brown. So, I'm hoping that means... And the, the ants, guys. The ants, they're just too much. But the, the corns are still looking good. They have lovely ears on them. And most of these plants has two ears. This plant has three right there. They're looking so good. That's another papaya tree I have back there. And this is a pomegranate. And at the base of the pomegranate, I planted some cool thyme or Cuban oregano there. And we drink tea from this so often. And right next to it is our very, well, it's not our favorite, but another tea bush that we love. That is Cerasi. Next to the Cerasi right here is our sugar cane. Let me move back here and show you another sugar cane that we have in this container back here. I need to mold this one up. This is another sugar cane that we have growing right there. Let's look at the papaya tree. It is trying so hard to produce for us. Ooh, look at this Cerasi seed. Let me sow some of you back here. Guys, my food fence is coming along so nicely i can't wait to just have it bush bush up and fluffy right here let me just drop some of this terrace seed in here and in there and sun it guys look at this look at the size of the leaves on this um spinach it is looking so good look at the size of those leaves and guys, I have beans growing on there. And the spinach is now seeding. So those are going to fall to the ground and and just grow and be bushy back here and lovely. Look at the leaves on these spinaches. They're looking so, so good. Amazing. The beans are coming up. And that's the chocho that we planted together back there. Ah sweet potatoes guys they're looking so so good this is a sour sub tree and one is right behind us i'm going to show you shortly and that right there that is our grapevine we're going to go up there shortly as well let's get from back here in these two buckets oh look at the squash bug i need to harvest these let me get this one off because there's a squash bug on it and it's split. I need to use this one straight away. And I place right there. And there's another big one on there right here. This is the biggest one I've ever grown. I wanted it to ripen up some more. Yeah, so those did well in those two buckets. There's a tiny one there. That's definitely not ready to come off. Here I have some hmm, watermelon that I planted. I'm seeing a little bit of blossoms on them, so hopefully we get fruit. This is another sauce up, but the lighting, guys. I'm unable to show you that properly. This is a pigeon peas or gungu peas. A pineapple. Melanie long squash is trying to do its thing right there. It should be a naturalist, but the trellis hurricane blew it down. There's a better look at the sugar cane, guys. Right here. This is a red scotch bonnet. 
at the lovely pepper that this produces. They're gorgeous. Beautiful. And here is another red scotch bonnet right here. And this is the chocolate. Alright, so this one has colors on it. So I can better able to show you the, the lovely peppers. This is the same plant at the entrance. It's beautiful. Awesome. Alright, stepping back from that, I have a zinnia in this container right here. And these are my um, cucumbers. Wow! Guys, I placed some banana tea on this because it wasn't doing a thing because of the bug. The bugs are on it. So many different types of bugs, guys. So it wasn't doing anything. And I place some banana tea and look. Already I'm seeing little cucumbers coming on. That is awesome. That is awesome. So we should get a few cucumbers from it before we have to take out the plant because of the bugs. Yeah, so that's what's going on right there. Alright, so we need to go back to the front. I have okras coming here, guys. Another chocolate pepper. Zinnias. So we're going back to the front and then work our way from the other direction. Still at the entrance area down there is where we walk to go in so this is to the right of the entrance and i have another cucumber right here guys the summer heat and the bugs that combination and the cucumbers not doing well in my garden oh oh here's a little one oh that that is even if that's not properly pollinated i am so thrilled to see that little cucumber right there I planted a squash in here guys I don't know if it run walk or crawl but it is looking good and we'll see what it does here's another pigeon peas right there oh guys that's my aloe vera right down there another red color loo that we um, harvested yesterday and this is some sort of squash it's either a yellow crooked neck squash or zucchini right here this is my other banana plant and guys i thought it was um shooting because <laughs> i didn't see art leaf coming up but to my dismay that's an art leaf right in there yeah that's definitely art leaf but this this banana should produce soon look at that sucker right in there that sucker is just going to replace this mama one and just be beautiful when this one produces we're going to take out some of these little suckers there are four little ones in there that's way too many for a container i have some peppers in here these are baby bell peppers the other day that one ripened to red even though i planted a yellow baby bell pepper so let's see what these ripen to what the plants are just doing fantastic these peppers are lovely coming over from the banana plant i have black cocoa there are four plants in here i believe or three three plants and they're looking so so good so so good my dad said they're nowhere near ready though i have that's my biggest pineapple plant in the garden right next to them and these are some envisinias the green ones awesome to the right of that is my badu this is a magnificent plant we're going to harvest that soon and a birdie her bird friend stopped by to say good morning did you hear it in here i have some butternut squashes i'm going to harvest these because the pests they would just don't leave them alone so i'm going to harvest these um soon the pests are just too much. This is a nasturtium right here. And a sweet banana pepper. This is another sweet banana pepper here. Squash. I'm going to harvest them. These worms, I tell you, see? There are droppings on that one. It means there's worms somewhere there. 
so I'm going to harvest those fruits I have a row of um, okras right there and they're starting I fed these with the banana tea as well so I'm seeing where they're starting to bud as though they're going to produce fruits soon so that's all here I have three broccolis in this tire I'm not sure why they're leggy and they are in full sun they're kind of getting too tall for my comfort in here what's happening to my scotch bonnet pepper I have a scotch bonnet pepper in here seems like it's being affected by the, the shade but that's okay have a, another chocolate pepper right here this is an um, eggplant starting to put on flowers this is a struggling what's it called again rosemary I don't know what's happening with it but I'm not giving up on it this is a scotch bonnet pepper guys if you watch inspiration Wednesday this was what I was going bananas over look at fruits on it there are more fruits on this plant than there are leaves this is the yellow scotch bonnet pepper and this is our very favorite look at peppers there's so many peppers on this little plant it's amazing I left out my dad's well my dad gave me this cow peas and it is doing so so he told me that this thing will take over the entire garden that's what the peas look like oh here there are plenty of peas on there more here those ants means aphids plenty of peas on it there's a dry one on it that i want to give away oh there are more than one one here and another dry pod here going to harvest those and share it with a few persons who don't have cow peas growing in their garden another papaya guys and i planted cucumber here those need to be trellised now oh guys there are so many things going on, growing on in the garden right now that's a volunteer pumpkin plant i'm seeing that i'm right here let me just show you the grapevine grapevine is right here i made this at a trellis for it hold on let me try and show you better all right there you go you can get a better look at it it is looking so healthy and beautiful it is stretching towards the fence there i'm gonna take off those those vines that are stretching because they'll just go away from me and i don't want them to so it's kind of semicircular so i can literally go in there so that's looking good this is our sour sap that um the hurricane took off right there i just pruned up whatever was left and look at that guys just look at that that's looking absolutely amazing i love it and over here this is my plantain same thing happened with this plantain in the hurricane the entire top of the plant went and guys this is come coming back with a vengeance i need to mold it up some more but look at this one two three four suckers that we're getting from this plantain we can't be more grateful and it looks absolutely gorgeous it's so beautiful absolutely beautiful and right next to it this is a gungo this is red pigeon peas got the one pea when i went to portland and planted it and it's looking so so good this is my volunteer green bean this is a kentucky wanda bean been harvesting from it and it volunteered up out of our ginger container and this ginger is just doing amazing right here it's doing absolutely amazing so this is what the lower section of the garden is looking like up 
apart from the cucumber right there everything else is doing absolutely incredible it's doing absolutely amazing so grateful it's hard work but it's worth it it is hard work but absolutely worth it so now we're done with the lower section guys it might be a little lengthy of a video but i need to show you all of what is going on now we're going to make our way to the middle section of the garden and then to the upper section this is the middle of the garden it's a very narrow area that we are working with but i still try to cram as much things that i possibly can in this section of the garden my husband made a lovely stand for me here and the vision is to have onions growing there or garlic because you know we have to rotate whatever we go wherever so let me just show you what is happening in here i'm pleased so far with what i'm seeing here and then work our way up this section all right so right here that's right next to where the stand is i have this is eggplant this is start i fed it some banana tea it was so yellow you guys were here with me when i did the banana tea treatment and that's the result of it i also fed these okra plants pruned them and fed them three of them in total i am not seeing anything happening in there yet but the hope is for them to start um fruiting soon moving over guys these are my onions guys these onions they were so tiny and skinny and i put some uh, rabbit manure on these this is the fattest one so far and we're hoping these are red onions we're just hoping that they do well i don't i don't doubt that they will because based on what i'm seeing here they're picking up and picking up so so fast i had poor germination in this tree this nothing poor in here as well but they're coming so i just planted out some more and this one is planted out as well in these the six that are here i planted these with you a couple days ago these onions and these are the regular white onions and i'm seeing a few popping up here is one uh hold on there is another another right here they are quite a bit popping up in there so we're hoping for the best with those ah that saw us up give me joy here we have a sorrel or you might refer to it as roselle depending on where in the con in the world you are right there and it is looking so good that should produce for us for the christmas stepping back i have some cayenne peppers and they're drying on the tree i need to pick them off cayenne pepper one one pepper fell in the container right here and grew there are about 10 or 12 plants in here and guys i didn't know they would produce seeing that they're so close they're producing like crazy <laughs> There are some beetroots in there. And this is another sorrel plant that we found. And I planted it last night. I'm hoping that it will survive. Right there. I'm going to put another tie over there. Just like that one. Here I have sugar cane. And this is what we call soft black. Soft black cane. This is the sweetest, softest cane ever. One of you told me it's called Suki as well. But we just called it Soft Block Growing Up. So that might be the correct name. I've not gotten a chance to research yet to confirm. Here I have a canary melon that I got from Miss Taylor. And I'm seeing it. It is putting on some fruits, but nothing, nothing holding on nothing holding on yet here is a fruit right here not seeing anything fattening up yet hoping for the best 
I have some beads not doing well, so I just planted peanuts in there because I can't waste my good, good container. My turmeric here is doing so, so well. In this tire next to the turmeric, I have bell peppers, ginger, banana. This is either banana pepper or Hungarian wax pepper, guys. It is absolutely loaded. This is the purple bell pepper. Need to prune it because it's not doing well. And this is a regular red bell pepper. Going around here. These are my celery that we've been using to cook. It tastes so yummy. It's a beautiful zinnia. The color is just pretty. This is a baby bell. I need to take this tuna out and plant it far away from the garden. <laughs> this is basil gone to seed. Back here, I have corns and they're starting to put on their ears. Amazing. Yesterday, we planted some callaloo in these two containers. One there and one here. Oh, and over here also, we're trying to just catch food everywhere. There are some more callaloo coming in here. All right, so let's go around to this section where we're just coming from with our lovely volunteer papaya. Look at that. This is our volunteer papaya, and there are plenty of blossoms on there. This plant is just doing fantastic. Nestled beside our orange tree that is not doing much right now, but... We probably will get that to produce some way somehow. Back here, guys, the callaloo. I told you they'll just explode in a few days. Look at them. These are looking amazing. Pretty soon we'll be able to get food from these. And this is the piñata blend that is also at the entrance. That's three of those plants as well. Strawberry suckers in those two containers another celery bell pepper here that is loaded with fruits can you see those absolutely loaded that's carrot just manured it with some wrap back manure and it just like explode out of the bucket they weren't doing a thing cayenne peppers that i really really need to harvest that is a little jalapeno pepper that is getting old so the fruits are small that's a pineapple plant behind the pineapple is a baby bell and some ginger let me take you around there to show you oh another chocolate pepper right here so this bed it's not looking so hot right now but is but there are there are so many things going on in there so many this is our citrus that we don't know what it is <laughs> right here and in here we have some little pak choy not the prettiest to look at but this probably is the prettiest to look at it's beautiful volunteer cayenne pepper and it is it is producing <laughs> silly little peppers coming on and this is a snapdragon that we have right here Beautiful. Just look at these carrots. Oh my word, look at Callaloo seedling. I need to take out some of those. Oh, better look at the bell pepper, guys. Look at that. These carrots literally exploded out of the bucket in a matter of days. I can't wait to see what the harvest is going to look like. That wrap back manure definitely worked, guys. I can see even before the harvest that it most definitely worked these are the ginger i was trying to show you from back there the jalapeno peppers they need to come off the plant this is the baby bell i better look at the pineapple ah doing fantastic these are my peanuts I planted in succession and I planted them way down in the container guys way down there because I plan to mold it all the way up here learning from my mistake I'm gonna show you why shortly 
but these are looking good and what you're looking at in there is some chicken manure now the final um, stand in the middle section is this one right over here and look at that lovely cocoa plant that I planted this is a black cocoa and I planted it in that container so the cocoa they're going to be short and fat I know that because they don't have place to grow but I prefer having a short fat cocoa than none these are scallions and in there guys those are callaloo seedlings and <laughs> I need a plantation to plant callaloo so many seedlings popping up everywhere those are red callaloo but they're amaranth my long-standing thyme need to feed those with some of the liquid fertilizer I planted pak choy in here guys and you would think it's callaloo that I planted look at this Look at this, the pak choy, they're not looking so good and the color low, they're just plan and outshining them. There's another red color low and nasturtium right there. Awesome. Oh, and back here, those are beets and I'm seeing little beets forming on them now. And back here, I don't know how bad you got into this. This is a serrano pepper. I don't know how bad you got into this container that I planted my carrots in. But they just took over. There are the carrots in there. Carrots aren't looking bad. But the badu just took over everything. So that is how that little area is looking right now. That's what I call the middle section of my garden. And you'll be surprised the amount of food we get from this on a daily basis, guys. Every day. Every day. We're approaching the upper section now. Where I am standing in the upper section of the garden now. Guys, this is literally my living pantry. I come out and have if it's even seasoning for the for the for the cooking. I get something from here every day. Alright, so my sweet potato and black cocoa starts the upper section of the garden so let's just quickly guys i told it was going to be a little lengthy let, let us just quickly get into this and try and get to the back of the garden so this is my sweet potato bed and this is one of my susumba that i recently transplanted with you this is my sweet potato bed and right behind it is my lovely black cocoa plant right here the sun is making it challenging for me to show you but it is looking so good it is so thick there's a volunteer squash plant coming out of it i don't know what it is but i'm allowing it to do its thing the sweet potato is doing absolutely fantastic there's a jalapeno pepper in there that is determined to produce peppers. There they are. But I had a few peppers on it. And it is trying to make its way out of the bed right there. Back here I have a striped cane. Another sugar cane. Let me show you. There's ash in there. There's there's this it's we call it ribbon cane or striped cane but that's the brown one not the red one it's looking good it's coming good the ants are doing their thing on it but it's coming good so guys this bed right here or this stand you told me not to cut my eggplant branch off just to stake it and i did so i just place a stake in there and stake it up and those eggplants are just looking gorgeous on it some of the leaves are yellowing but this is fine um this is a pineapple another little pineapple there and i planted some pak choy seedlings in here and they're coming up nicely they're not looking so bad and back here you guys are literally have these two red color loo for decoration and for seeds because they're way too old to be eaten I have some scotch bonnet seedlings in here. I'm going to plant them somewhere in the garden. Another sugar cane right here. I think this is the brown stripe as well. 
back here this is my cassava looking so good and it is planted in that container down there where that little cabbage is marigold for pest control and beauty another cabbage there in here i have yellow yams so down at the bottom i have sweet yams here these are yellow yams and you can tell by the vines and the leaves they are very different these has thorns on them the yellow yam this cabbage is forming is forming a lovely head awesome in this container of renta yam the vines and leaves are different and this is another cabbage that I have coming here. Those are looking so, so good. And the vines, the yam vines, mm -mm, everywhere, guys. This is my sweet potato on a pedestal. <laughs> I'm still trying with it, guys. Open, it needs watering. Open for the best with that one. I have some carrots in here. And those are looking fat and nice. Hopefully, we get some lovely carrots from those those are looking good so over here it's not looking so bad this big um thing that you're seeing here post we use it to hold up the fence after the hurricane took down the fence on the garden so that's that's not looking bad right guys here in these two machine containers we have peanuts and these peanuts are just exploding guys they're just doing so fantastic now this is why i planted the others so deep in the container all of these they are referred to as pegs they produce peanuts so if these peanuts were planted all the way down here then i could have molded up more of these pegs and we would have gotten more peanuts let me give you a glimpse of what the peanut is going on with if you're new and you're not and you've not already seen it so if i should pull up one of these pegs if you look on there that's the peanut that's a peanut pod right there and there's so so many in there guys so many peanuts in there they're just doing fantastic all right let me go back up and show you what's happening on the first set of um stands up here all right stand number one look at this spinach this spinach is going bananas i'm gonna have to have i need to make some green juice i'm gonna harvest off some of those they're getting way too long okay so on here we have this spinach need to harvest them and guys we have scallions coming in here in these guys i got some scallions and uh, we used the greens and planted little stumps and we have so much growing now it's not funny this is a banana no this is not a banana pepper this is a sweet what is this this is a baby bell this is a baby bell pepper we harvest from this almost every day because it's so close and convenient and yet it is still absolutely loaded with fruits we have peanuts growing on here this is peanut in this container and had i known this was how peanuts peanuts produce i would have planted them way down here and then molded them up because all of these will just go to waste when i could have gotten peanuts this lettuce guys <laughs> look at that ah uh, those beautiful seeds are gonna be so useful i'll be saving them but that one went to seed and went to seed fast this is the spinach coming through here look at this guys this is the spinach what is it doing all the way here ah look at that it is going to seed beautiful this is carrot I think I planted some mixed carrots in here and I placed the ratback manure on here as well and I'm seeing fruits now being developed. Awesome. Another lettuce that is going to seed. My thyme. Oh, more scallions. This is red romaine going to seed as well. It has, look at that. Uh, yeah. 
yeah it's definitely going to seed this is peanuts more peanuts thyme in here another spinach I'm going around on this same guys this is parsley I tried for months to grow parsley and none wouldn't grow and then Miss Taylor gave me this and all of a sudden I have parsley growing it's just a blessing I think she sent blessing my way this is another um, baby bell loaded to need to do some harvesting urgently this is poblano hold on this pepper plant is huge this is poblano and it is producing peppers i just harvested quite a bit off of it that is hurricane survival cayenne more cayenne peppers i need to harvest this is basil this is bell pepper starting to produce this is another bell pepper starting to produce lovely fruits awesome to see this is a pinata blend pepper not sure which one it is yet ah better look at the lettuces this cabbage was here just to take away the pest from everything else need to throw that out now because that's not good this is a red romaine gone to seed and there is one onion in here and also one in here ah look at cayenne peppers on this little branch these are grand rapid lettuce going to seed as well ah oh, beautiful this is another cayenne pepper just look at peppers on this look at this branch wow just look at that one branch so many peppers and these plants are very old these cayenne peppers this is a lovely little scotch bonnet pepper seedling coming up look at this bee just hanging out on the basil they love the basil another color loo that is just for decoration the bright pop of red and coming around to this um stand at the back this is a serrano pepper and going forward i would not plant it in that small container that is a that is an eggplant i'm saving for seed just there temporarily i wouldn't plant them these neither the serrano or um, poblana in small containers because they get huge this is another baby bell absolutely loaded with fruits guys i have a massive harvest to do i have to do that sooner rather than later this is another baby bell oh this is, i always say this plant produces the biggest peppers i've ever seen bigger than the, be the bell peppers this look at that pepper it's huge this is a volunteer cayenne pepper that i took up out of the garden and planted here and it is absolutely loaded this is a badu right there these are kalaloo plants that we planted yesterday that is i'm gonna take you around there this is a marigold that i need to dead head ah beautiful i think um pak chow blossom pak choy are some of the most beautiful blossoms that's a zinnia this is a broccoli beside my lettuce we've been eating this and it's starting to get bitter guys we still eat it now back here on the same stand this is my susumba that i planted with you recently one two three this was the one that seemed as though it wasn't going to make it it is going to make it better look at the badu okay so let's move around to the last stand back here this is a bell pepper that i recently planted it's starting to make fruits guys this <laughs> this eggplant look as though it was going to die it's a black beauty eggplant it has 
every insect you can possibly think of on it. Pest, 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 and more pest. Give it some banana tea, and guys, it is coming back. This is the last susumba plant, a gully bean, right there. This is a broccoli. This is the best looking broccoli of all. I'm so sorry I didn't put all of them in pots. It's looking so good. I sowed some more seeds. And they're coming nicely, so I'll have some to plant soon. This is green beans. I've been harvested from it, and it is putting on more blossoms. Awesome. See if I see any baby beans. Oh, yeah. It's a baby bean right here. Oh, wow. Guys, cabbage. I think I found the formula to grow cabbages. Oh, probably my husband just bought the right seeds <laughs> bell peppers are coming again guys so many guys I sprinkle ashes on them because the ants um hot, hot banana pepper or Hungarian wax one of the two but it is hot this bell pepper is starting to produce again let's take another look at that cabbage starting to produce ed starting to make ed oh i have a green bean here awesome and several little baby ones coming on beautiful to see yeah my parsley look at these bell peppers ah <sighs> all oh, those are just beautiful gorgeous 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 peppers gorgeous these containers are empty and i have seedlings coming to put in them same story with this eggplant guys yeah, some things are on the back of the leaves mm -mm. but look at this cabbage yes i believe i found the formula to grow cabbages absolutely beautiful well guys every morning i have to do a thing like this and check under the leaves because the aphids and the worms absolutely love cabbages. Final section of the garden. Look at those yams. These are renta and sweet yams planted in that machine container. And they're just doing absolutely fantastic. These are dasheen guys. Our favorite. Dasheen and peanuts in those and the same thing over here dasheen and peanuts more dasheen and peanuts they're just doing so so good i love it and back here guys i have corns coming and the the tassels are dry now so the corns are developing in there i can't wait cannot wait over here I planted a bean this is butter not butter bean sugar beans I planted in this bucket made this little trellis for it to climb up on and it is doing awesome it is doing awesome I keep vining it down so it fills out the little trellis thing it's just doing fantastic this back here oh i need to these are two tangerine trees i need to get another tire to put on top so i can mold them up properly so they can get some nutrients on their roots right there avocado up here right there and then this is my passion fruit vine right here and i keep pinching out the buds so it don't get too wild on me because this thing will cover everything right here oh my corns they're starting to put on grains this one is coming out of the out of the the, the thing they're putting on grains yes so and that that is the the back of the garden cut that sweet potato that's not going to produce a thing in the rock right there. <laughs> so 
so that is it for august's garden tour full garden tour that's what is happening at farming on the rocks and it's approaching the better part of the gardening season for us so i'm looking forward to having tomatoes guys have you noticed no tomatoes in the garden i'm looking forward to having more tomatoes more cabbages more pak choy those cauliflower those brassicas in the garden more squashes i have some seeds growing more cucumbers coming into the cooler months well going into the cooler months so the garden should even look better in a couple of months from now and producing much more so we can continue to provide for our family and to also share with our friends family and neighbors because that is why we plant more than we need because we must share that that is just how gardeners do we share our stuff that we grow all right so thank you for joining me i appreciate you a big shout out to my members please <clears throat> continue to hang in there with me i appreciate you guys so so much for those of you who have been liking and sharing the videos guys i appreciate you please continue to leave your comments and your questions your concerns your tips your tricks your recommendations your suggestions thank you so so much for all of them on behalf of myself steve and the kids thank you so so much for being there for farming on the rocks and for this amazing community that we have going on here on this medium thank you guys so so much enjoy i'll see you in the next video bye bye